Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's quick video, we're going to do an unboxing of my Maisie Lane Co. journals. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. down in the description box as well as the pinned comment. I will segment this out. This first part is actually going to be a little bit chatty and then I'll actually do the unboxing. I did order two uh, A5 journals from Maisie Lane Co. and I actually had seen those on Mochi Bujo's a YouTube channel I think back in like late November early December but when I went to the website they were sold out for 2020. So I got an email from Maisie Lane Co. in I think the beginning of January, if not the first week of January, saying that they were taking pre-orders that would be shipping out in February. Now I've been talking about this one for quite some time and it is February 23rd, 2021. I did get an email uh, while I was at the office today saying that this had arrived and so I just wanted to get into this today. I don't know that I'll actually be able to work in the journal because I do have an idea of what I want to use it for but at least I, I want to show you guys uh, what I have purchased. Now in comparison it is 160 GSM paper so it does sort of match up to Archer and Olive. Uh, the price point for one of their journals is $25 and then you can customize it with your name or I think a two-line quote um, on the front of the cover. I believe they only have A5 size as well as white pages, at least for now, but uh, I really loved the look of it and when I saw the video from Mochi Bujo, um, I just thought it was just really pretty and elegant and so uh, as soon as it became available to even pre-order, I did. Now I did purchase an Oopsie one, so I think there was some misprinting and so it was a little bit cheaper and then I ordered a regular one. I'm pretty sure I got them both custom, but I don't remember <laughs> if I put my name or my channel name. If I put my channel name, that seems like a little weird because nobody calls me that. It's not an actually real name ever. It's just something I made up for social media. Oh goodness. Well, I guess we'll find out together. Like I said, it's, it's been a while ago since I ordered this, so I, I couldn't even really tell you what the colors of the journals are. Let's be surprised, shall we? All right, so let me open this box without a ton of noise. Now, well, actually, as you can see, <laughs> I think this is really pretty. And if I can somehow get this washi tape off of here, I might use this uh, for some journaling for this week because I just, I love the branding of this. I mean, already it gives me a better feeling than the bubble mailer from Arch and Olive, but maybe that's just me. All right, so now let me open this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you this because I'm already just tickled. So it did come with this just for padding purposes, which makes sense. And then this was on the top of it. My invoice was actually right underneath here, but I, I took that out because it has my address on here. And then on the back, it does have a code on here, a 10% code. And so, yeah, I might order another one. <laughs> I haven't even opened these two and I'm already thinking of the other one. Um, this is a company based out of New Jersey and uh, she actually signed it. Again, much better feels than the Arch and Olive. So these are both of the books wrapped up in this really pretty uh, green paper. I'm going to keep this and Riley Autumn uses packaging in her journaling or her bullet journal and it is really thin and is different from the craft paper color that I have and so I'm probably going to flatten these out as well as this and add this as part of my bullet journal, junk journal, all of that. So let me get all of this out of the way. Now it did have this washi on it. I don't know if that's washi she sells or if that's in her stash. I'm assuming someone who creates bullet journals also uses them. <laughs> So I'm just gonna hold on to that. Again, I can put that in as either part of my junk journal or as my regular Happy Nietzsche journal. Oh, look at 
look at these. I did both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that is a sexy red right there. Okay. Oh, and a ruler. Wow. Okay. So let me get these out of the packaging. Okay, so these are the journals. It is vegan leather coated, so it's not fabric, so that's good. It is 160 GSM semi-coated white paper. And I, what I think I've read um, on the website is uh, the paper is really good with fountain pens. Now, I won't be testing anything out tonight. It's actually nearly 11 when I work tomorrow. But I really wanted to open them up and look at them and just love on them. Uh, but I will be doing some testing in this one because this is the one that I'm actually going to use first. And then I'll be doing some comparisons because now I have four journals that are at 160 GSM and testing for fountain pen uh, usage is going to be one of the tests that I do. So that's me. That's Johanna. Oh, okay. I'm a very tactile person and I, I like the feeling of that. I, I think this is the dreamy font. I think there's four different fonts you can choose from. And like I said, you can do two lines. That's my channel name. Again, it's just a, a play off of Johanna and I think Z's are fun, and yeah, I just made it up. And uh, what I can tell right away, it doesn't have a pen loop. For me, that is not going to be a problem. I never use it, but just right away, I notice there is nothing protruding, at least nothing that I see, yeah. So it's got the signature block, or the who this belongs to. And you can tell by the binding that it is signatures and it is not glued in. And the meaning of that is then your book stays open. And it lays flat. If it's glued to the binding, then that's when you get problems where it doesn't want to open until you break the spine. It comes with two... Uh, bookmarks and they match the cover and I love the red and the white here now I chose it but I mean it's still <laughs> it's still kind of a surprise <laughs> now these are really white pages I do notice that the dots are a little dark again when I do my comparison I will do side-by-side -side comparisons on the pages um, by way of the color, by way of the dot. This is all A5. It's my preferred size. And so all of that should line up because it has 192 pages. It is quite thick. Um, it seems to be the same thickness as my Primrosia. So if I do a side-by-side -side comparison, it actually, I don't know. It might be slightly thinner than the Primrosia, but this is a watercolor paper, and I'm just looking at the the pages. I'm not looking at anything else but that. Uh, but this is more textured than any of the other ones because it is specifically made for watercolor. Now, if you stack these up, because these are all the A5s that I have by way of 160 GSM, I don't know, maybe this has more, because I think this definitely has more papers, 192 pages. I'll have to look on the website to see how many pages are on this. There is 160 pages in the Archer and Olive, and then I'll have to look at this one, the Buke one, where um, I got that from Amazon. I don't know how many pages are in here. Again, I'll do a more thorough test. I think it just... It's interesting. And just from that alone, you can tell the different color ranges. If we sort it by white, of course, my Archer and Olive is the outlier because I did get the craft paper in a mystery box, but the Maisie Lanco is the Crispus white. Crispus? I don't think I'm saying that right. And then these are definitely more of an off-white, but not in the cream or in the yellow. And then, of course, you've got your craft paper. Now, I don't know if it's because the color that I chose. I don't know if it because 
it looks like there is a little bit of a grain to it. It's absolutely smooth. Uh, the only thing you actually feel is the lettering. And again, that's optional. You don't have to have that. It does have a back pocket and an elastic. And that the elastic is something that I do use, but I think it just, it looks to me at least a, a little higher end than this. And I don't know why. Because this is the one that I got from Amazon that was like $15. And this, like I said, without the customization is 25. Oh, so on here, Again, the different colors have different symbols, and I don't know if there's any other symbol. Yeah, so the only symbol that you have is on the spine. And they did come out with some new colors. I did get an email. I really, I really have to resist <laughs> purchasing bullet journals, but the colors are just so pretty. Um, but I, I like this color. I really like this color. And again, this was a oopsie. And so I think some of the pages might be misprinted or maybe they don't line up. Uh, for me, that's, that's not going to be an issue. Things like that never are. And like I said, it was at a discounted price. And so I thought, well, why not? You can never have too many journals, right? So again, I will be having a use for this one. This one will be a backup for now. This was done in the same font, but I believe that's their gold overlay. So you can choose your different font and you can choose the different color of that. And I think um, Miss Tay, I think her name's Taylor, um, I think she does this herself. There is no scent. Um, the Buke and the uh, Minimalist Art one that I have did have a scent off of them. And just from a cursory look, I don't really see any major differences. The bullets don't go all the way to the end of the page, so there is definitely a distinctive header and footer. Again, for me, that's not going to be problematic. There are no page numbers either. Again, I never use an index, and so that's not something I'd ever need to use. And then this page, the way that the book is constructed, um, always does that. And more often than not, I just glue these together because I just I want it to lay flat from the onset. So I don't mind sacrificing this page here. I would highly recommend that you go there. I did purchases with my own money. I'm not sponsored, I'm not affiliated or anything like that. Um, I definitely get a, a small business vibe from her. So even upon purchase, she sent an email. I sent a, an email back because she was actually going to send this first because this was available when I originally ordered. And then I told her, oh no, no need. <laughs> Just wait till this one's available and then send them both. I mean, why not, right? And I just, I don't know. This is the kind of experience that I would have thought I would have gotten from Archer and Olive because they are sort of the luxury boutique brand. And I'm, I'm absolutely getting that feel from this. Because this is not fabric, I don't feel the need to cover this. Um, I'll have to see, because I am oily, I don't know if that's going to interact with the cover because I love that bright, bright red. And so if somehow, you know, the oils in my hands will darken that, then I might just use a Midori cover and just cover it, even if I have to jerry-rig it like I did with the Primrosia. But I could not be happier <laughs> with my purchase. So be on the lookout for what I'm going to be using this for, and then be on the lookout on my comparison video of the four different bullet journals that I have with specifically 160 GSM uh, paper in it. Just, you know, in the case you're looking for a bullet journal for whatever. <laughs> I don't need a reason to buy a journal. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me for now. And as always, aloha. Thank you.